Chapter 1 Clean Surroundings Pave the Way Is it necessary to keep our room clean? Observe the above picture and think. Should we keep our room in this way? Let's begin. We all live in a surrounding which includes living and non-living things. Directly or indirectly, we depend on these things to satisfy our needs. Like, we need oxygen to breathe, we need clothes to wear, etc. But, all these things are exploited by us to achieve the optimum level of satisfaction. Sometimes, this optimum level becomes the reason of waste generation. Let's see how. Suppose, in a week, we need five dresses, but to satisfy our excess of desire, we purchase 10 dresses. In this case, some of the dresses get out of fashion or unused and this actually gives birth to waste. Then, to get rid of such clothes, either we throw them or make a pile in some corner of our house. This is waste and this waste should be managed effectively if we want a clean environment to live. Type of Wastes Wastes are of two types. Biodegradable wastes Waste materials such as fruits and vegetable peels decompose easily. These are called biodegradable wastes. Non-biodegradable wastes Waste materials such as metal, glass, plastic, etc. do not decompose. These are called non-biodegradable wastes. Waste Disposal In view of clean surroundings, disposal of waste is a great matter of concern. In some neighborhood areas, the sanitary workers come and collect waste while at some places, Municipal vehicles come to collect it. Then, this collected waste get disposed of by following methods. Landfill This involves dumping of waste into a landfill. In this, the solid waste is separated in thin layers. Waste layers are subjected to compaction and subsequently coated with an earth layer. Landfills should be created in places where groundwater level is low and far from sources of flooding. Incineration This involves combustion of wastes to transform them into base components, with the generated heat being trapped for deriving energy. About 90% of waste is reduced by this way but it may lead to air pollution. Composting It involves decomposition of organic waste by microbes by allowing the waste to accumulate in a pit for a long time. However, this process is slow, but it provides compost which is rich in nutrients that improve soil fertility. Open Dumping In open dumping, Waste is loaded in trucks. It is then taken far away from the town or city and dumped in the open. This method of waste disposal pollutes the environment. You must know. If waste is not disposed properly, it may lead to land, water and air pollution, attract flies and rodents, spread diseases like cholera, typhoid, etc., lead to unhygienic and unhealthy environment, thus it may become a health hazard. Waste Management Extensive use of certain products is the root cause of formation of waste. To make our environment clean, it is necessary to opt three hours to manage such waste. Reduce. This means to use a less quantity of things. This helps in saving the sources for future use. 
reuse. This means using things again. Instead of dumping old clothes, try to make a shopping bag out of them or create mats and carpets. Recycle. This means to give new form to old things. Many materials such as paper, glass, aluminium, plastic, etc. can be recycled to make useful things. Must try. Head out to a local park and see how much you can collect from the environment that can be recycled. Treating waste at home. We can all take action to reduce our household waste by avoiding wasting food, money and resources. It is necessary that less and less waste should be generated. Some simple steps to reduce our household waste are reduce the number of things you buy, use things that are easy to dispose of, carry cloth bags instead of plastic bags, Avoid buying packaged food, sell the old newspapers, glass bottles, plastic and metal things to the junk dealer, give your old clothes, toys, pots etc. to the poor people.